we are going to look at the physics of a car moving along a circular track. We will watch the action and analyze the forces from a vantage point directly behind the car. When the car is moving along a circle, there is an acceleration towards the center of the circle. The net force on the car includes the car's weight, the normal force of the track on the car, and the force of friction provided by the road on the tires. For a horizontal track, friction is the only force with a component in the direction of acceleration, so friction must provide all the necessary force to keep the car in a circular motion. The force of friction therefore must be directed inward. Note that it is static friction because the contact patch of the tire on the road does not slip. When the car has greater speed, there is greater circular acceleration. Friction must therefore provide a greater force. On a bank track, the physics becomes a bit more complex. Now, both the normal force and friction have components along the acceleration, and analysis requires careful use of vector math. We will take our reference coordinate system as horizontal and vertical, with the x positive to the right, towards the center of the circular motion, and the y positive upwards. The coordinate system provides a reference for resolving the force vectors into components. Basic vector analysis allows the determination of the vector components. Applying Newton's second law allows us to relate all force magnitudes to the mass and motion of the car. A bit of algebra and trigonometry allows us to obtain expressions for the normal force and the force of friction. A next step of analysis might be to look at how the upper limit of the magnitude of the frictional force is related to the normal force through the coefficient of friction, an exercise that is outside the scope of this video. When the bank angle is changed, the interplay between forces is also changed. For a given speed and circle radius, there is a sweet spot, a particular angle for which the required friction is actually zero. Increasing speed again requires friction to keep the car moving in a circle. Of course there will be a steeper bank angle for the sweet spot for the higher speed. And if the car goes too slow for the banking, friction now has to be towards the outside of the circle to keep the car from sliding down and inward.